Thank you very much for that kind introduction, Sue Harrison. I speak on a regular basis on a variety of issues, and I've been fortunate to be mentored by leaders in our business community. Some of you are here tonight, and I've learned that the business community expects us to show up prepared, having done our homework. And so what I've done is prepared some notes that I would like to use to let you know what my commitment to you as your member of parliament will be. Before I do that, I'll acknowledge our presence in the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee peoples and thank the Chamber of Commerce for their incredible work on advocacy for the business community and for creating this platform for us today and my fellow candidates for being part of this democratic process with you. It truly is a privilege. Peterborough's and Peterborough Kawartha's businesses are key contributors to the quality of life that we enjoy here, but also to our standard of living. It's the efforts of entrepreneurs like you that's creating wealth and jobs here in our community. But beyond that financial impact, the business community here plays a vital role in the social and cultural fabric of our community. You regularly support and generously support groups and organizations with your philanthropic activities and the work that you do and that extra effort that you put into it all is making a difference in the lives of thousands of people daily and I thank you for that. The role of a government and the role of a member of parliament in my view is to work with you as a partner. And that important role includes supporting businesses by creating a favorable condition that lets you take your ideas, expand them, implement them, grow, and continue to employ the rest of us. In my view, there are four key areas that a government needs to concentrate on in order to facilitate your work in job creation. These include in establishing a competitive tax structure which encourages investment, innovation, and technology as well as development that allows you to expand into new markets. Governments need to pursue smart regulations that protect the environment, labor standards, as well as safety of workers without placing unnecessary burdens on you. Government needs to invest in key economic infrastructure such as transportation, serviced industrial land, post-secondary education, and the development of worker skills. I also believe that governments need to assist businesses like yours with access to debt and equity capital that will help you reach new markets, adopt innovative processes and products, and expand your operations. Many of the Liberal Party's specific platforms and commitments build on these priorities, and they include our commitment to provide consumers with increased spending power and targeting our Canada child tax benefit to the low and middle income families who need it most. Our 7% tax cut will allow middle income families to have more money in their pockets and we will also increase GIS payments by 10% which will directly affect the large proportion of seniors living here in Peterborough Kawartha. Our historic infrastructure investment of $125 billion over the next 10 years, including an additional $5 billion over each of the next two years, will stimulate the economy and create economic opportunities in housing construction, transit development, waste and water plant construction, and the building of cultural facilities and recreational facilities like the Canadian Canoe Museum and a convention center. Our $750 million commitment for new funding to assist in the training of workers will ensure that they have the skills that you need so that your businesses can operate more effectively. Other business measures, like reducing the small business tax rate from 11% to 9%, investing 
100 million dollars more into the industrial research assistance program and 300 million dollars to assist companies in developing new green technologies will go a long way. In closing, I want to let you know that as your member of parliament, I will work diligently with you to ensure that our kids and our grandkids can find social and economic opportunities right here. I believe that it is not the time to maintain the status quo. It's not time to stand still and accept things as they are. This is a great country and it's time to do politics differently and to build a better future together. That's why on October 19th, I would be honored if you would consider voting for me as your next Liberal Member of Parliament. Thank you.